This set of facts is the biggest ones on the chart, the tens times tables. Do you notice anything about them? We can show the tens times tables as groups of objects, but 10 is such a big group, it's hard to see how much there is. Three groups of 10, huh? What if we arranged them differently? How's that look? A lot of learning math is about figuring out how to arrange things so they make sense in your mind. We can count by tens now. 10 times 1 is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 10 times 3 is 30. 10 times 4 is 40. 10 times 5 is 50. 10 times 6 is 60. 10 times 7 is 70. 10 times 8 is 80. 10 times 9 is 90. 10 times 10 is 100. One more time. 0 times 10, nothing. 0. 1 times 10, 10. 2 times 10, 20. 3 times 10 is 30. 4 times 10 is 40. 5 times 10, 50. 6 times 10, 60. 7 times 10 is 70. 8 times 10, 80. 9 times 10, 90. 10 times 10 is 100. Now, about what you're noticing, something about zeros, that's another little lesson. But I think I'll stop.